right, let's play this in full here. Ooh, nice. It's a bit of a long pause at the beginning. I see there's, you know, scrub through and you can see there's some keep alive, but I think we're pushing this a bit far. I think you can easily start here. Maybe a bit earlier. We'll breathe and then, and then this. Is it getting better? I'm just looking at that ending here. I like this. I like that. Ugh. But I feel like you can bring it up halfway through here. So it's part of, it's as if as it comes forward, it compresses, it kind of squeezes everything out and brings the feet forward. It just seems a bit too long. I think even if you cut out the beginning, boom, that's cool. And then oh, eh, maybe, maybe just a bit sooner. Yeah, I just probably I would overlap it into I still bring it to the end here. So it's not just that that one thing that's added at the end there. There's something a bit slow uh, about these arms swinging back. But there's a couple of things happening here. Here it starts to feel like almost the the kid that does the flossing thing. Anyway, it's me being old. Uh, they're A, they're moving together. It's a bit too twins. They also feel very straight in the line. It almost feels like IK arms. Mainly also because the orientation of that wrist is never changing. Despite the change in the forearm. And then it, those arms stay put a bit too long up there. It's almost like they're up there on purpose. And then that swing is a bit slow. Here it gets a bit better and then it eases in. But without, like, to me it feels like that arm would swing all the way back there for more of a almost a pendulum type of thing I do like this I do like that going ugh, and I like that change of timing of ugh, a bit faster at the end I think that's all cool and I will probably if I'm looking at this there's still a bit of a straight path through here where I would make it where it's he's kind of falling backwards. So it's pivoting off that leg. So you get a bit more of an arc. So instead of out like this, where it's almost a bit too locked through there and it's just the hips going back, it's it's a bit of more of a mixture of that. You know, is he trying the thing is, is he trying to sit down first or is he slowly collapsing where he might even get a bit off balance and then the hips come down. That's kind of the thing that I'm wondering here. To me, what I would I would feel like a bit more of a straight path and an, an arc down for a bit of a heavier plop. It's already pretty, pretty heavy. Actually, it's not too bad. I think the main thing I'm reacting to is that towards the end here, it feels like it, he's being pulled back to the chair and having that straight line doesn't help. So I think by adding an arc and then making it more like a gradual and you see the acceleration drop onto that chair would feel better. And then fixing those arms is going to take away that that soft curse there that you have. And th there are two things here. If your head swings back like this, then to me, even though I like the ending that you have this acceleration boom into this, I think the change here is too slow. This section through here, meaning that Either you do boom, and there's a bobble this way, a bit back, and a bit of a bong type of thing. Not not springy, but just kind of a overshoot and kind of settle there. And then you give it a beat, maybe like 10, 15 frames, or maybe 20 frames even. And then you do, uh, and you can even have maybe anticipate or lead the whole thing with an open mouth. So the mouth opens going, uh, and then that. And it's him trying to bring his head forward right now it's almost like this is boom to settle after this but if you do that then my second comment will be it will be boom and then come back faster right away so kind of it's almost like hitting that side of the of the chair and then boom and then head comes forward again but in a way if if it was me it is a very subjective i would 
I will prefer this idea of uh so it's uh and then settles and then open mouth uh, and try one more thing and if you do want to keep this let's pretend like you want to do all this and then he does one more uh, then I would just make a bigger deal out of it and push these out a bit further and then also the toes out and maybe sideways tilt them out there so it's really just you make a bigger deal out of it so it's just a tiny thing where we don't know is that are those forgotten keys or is that something else that you wanted to do there it's kind of the main stuff that i'm seeing and even here i'll probably make that drop a bit faster because he's just so exhausted out of control where anything that's slightly on the slower side will feel too deliberate versus uh, uh, the feet just look at the feet just a bit too slow but you are saying here in the mail that you will look at those notes here or you know watch a critique and then potentially redo the shot and reapply the the ideas and principles of what we talked about here which is absolutely totally fine it's all about practicing and trying new things that's about it it's probably covered pretty most of it like here you probably will see also the ik aspect of it of Seeing your arms, like the elbows bend, but then again, the wrist staying put. In terms of orientation, I mean. All right, that's it. And you're saying your next submission is going to be a standing up exercise. So I'm going to look forward to that. Thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.